Yo, yo, I'm Mix Mazda Mile Man, and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be working on this Alco Pro uh, 140 um, lawnmower. Got a Honda engine on top, and the problem it's got is, is, is the wheel just keeps falling off every time. So they're normally held on like a little tiny shoulder bolt. The boat bought it in, and I had a quick look at it. I, put, I just tightened the shoulder bolts back up again, and away it went. Simple as that. So um, no problem, no issue. Um, but within a sort of day and a half, he said, Mick, that wheel's come off again. So I had a quick look at it, took the shoulder bolt out, and the shoulder bolt itself, the threads on the shoulder bolt had actually um, uh, all, all wore off. So not a good start. So I brought it back in and I've ordered up some brand new shoulder bolts for it, which I got from LNS Engineering, I believe. Uh, better right ones, just punching the, the, the Alco. I put Alco shoulder bolts and they came up. So we're gonna be fitting them. I'm gonna show you another little trick to what to do to um, ensure that these little buggers don't come out. And uh, hopefully going forward, that should, uh, that should secure it. If this is the first time you're watching Mixed Mother Mother Man, hit the subscribe button, whack the old bell, set notifications to all. That way you'll find it some up on the video. So further ado, let's get down dirty. Let's have a look at this Alco lawnmower and try and get this bloody wheel to bloody stay on. Right, so I've got my new shoulder bolt and I believe the threads to be knackered on here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna try and cut these, these, um, this bolt in. So it will actually go through, um, through the arm. Nice and gently will do it. I don't want to cross thread these, but the thread is knackered on the other side. So I might have to just have to drill this out a little tiny bit just to tidy it up. We're seeing it. I'm just get just a bite. Just to take it in. Once it starts to get it, we should be rocking and rolling. I think that's now got it. And you can't really wind these in with an impact because it's just that's just not gonna that's just not gonna take it. Now it may pay to buy more than what you need of his shoulder bolts. Right, oh, that's starting to go now. So we're starting to cut the threads in. I'm gonna remove this um this little cover off of the, uh, the wheel. Oh, there you go. There's a little tiny wash that needs to go on the back of that as well in a minute, so I mustn't forget that. So let me just wind this in nice and gently. And I wanna see what the threads look like on the other side once we, uh, once we get there. Now, if you find the threads are knackered, once you put this through, you might have to take this one out and then get another shoulder bolt you can drill and tap it, I suppose, not a problem. Well, that's gone in, and that's now sat there. So technically that, that shouldn't come out, right? But I know that it does. Now the threads look quite good on the outside now. So I'm now gonna remove this out. Now I've got the threads cut on the, um, on the bolt itself. <clears throat> I'm now gonna remove that shoulder bolt one more time. Let's just check them threads. See how them threads look, they, they've already smoothed off. Okay, so that, so now that threads are cut, that bolt's no good now. No good now. Right, so now I've got the uh, lawnmower up on a bench and what have you, and we're gonna try and figure out why this isn't actually uh, staying on. Because I have got Loctite on my shoulder bolts. I've got my little M8 um, tap here. I'm just gonna tap through. Just to run those threads. We're happy with that. Now we can get our brand new um, shoulder bolt, okay? Now what was happening, as I was putting the old ones in, they were smoothing the, um, the threads off. But what I wanna do, I wanna try and get this to go on, and then I'm gonna try and put a nut um, on the back side of that to hold that on. That's the idea. So let's now, uh, it's gotta go that way round, I think. That's how it goes on. So I think that little tiny bit goes on there like that. Yeah, it goes on there. So it goes on that way around with a little tiny spacer. And let's just tilt this height adjustment back. And now that should cut in there lovely. Them nice new threads we just put on. So we'll wind that on. 
and hopefully the threads will be nice and silky smooth now on the other side. And then we can then get a nut on the back side of that. Right, that's on nice and tight. Don't want to over tighten it. We can now lift the height adjustment up and I'll go on the other side now to move this mower around <coughs> because on the inside of here, I'm gonna try and put a nut on to try and hold that bolt in place. Right, so this is what I'm up to. Let me just show you. So we've got our shoulder bolt now through with the washer. That's all as it should be. And then on the inside here, um, I've now just, uh, just attached a little tiny um, uh, M8 bolt, uh, sorry, nut to go on the back of that, which is a nylon locker. And that should then secure this on. Now they don't come with it as a standard. As a standard, um, they literally just have the shoulder bolt go in. Uh, there you go, there's one there, see, just there. So they don't, don't have nuts on these. They just have the shoulder bolt with a little bit of um, um, Loctite on it, that's all they have. So the idea is, of course, is that this way, um, that the new shoulder bolt will hold, and then um, also having this, this little tiny nut on here, that will then secure that into place and now we won't have any more issues. So let me just find a little tiny spanner to fit that, probably be about 13, something like that. And we're just gonna just gonna tighten that nut up now. So that go behind it. And I think in all honesty we're gonna get away with this to do um, a good fix. Because for some reason the threads were just coming off and it had no chance of staying on there. It just it just comes straight off. So this is like a fail safe. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put um, these um, nuts on all four of these so that they won't come off in the future. Right, well, ain't going nowhere. The wheel spins, yeah, lovely. And the and the and the actual thread is just come through the nylon, which is good. That's what that's what you want. So I'm not going to go over too tight. Just going to have it up nice and tight. There's a bit of play in the wheel because because of a bracket play and what have you, but that, that's that's to be expected. But that's that wheel now fixed. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through all the other four the other three wheels and put these little tiny um, nylon lockers on the back of each one. That way it's done going forward. We we'll put a little tiny. Um, uh, wheel cover back on the machine and that should fix that so let me get the other four nuts the other three nuts done and uh, I'll come back to you once I've done it. Right I've done I've done three all together I'm just going to do the final one and I, I will say it really has strengthened up the mower wheels because they're not brilliant you know what I mean the, the old lawn mower wheels at the best of the time they take they take they take quite a bit of a pounding don't they so what we're now going to do is just do this last one as I say, you've got a shoulder bolt goes through with a washer, and then you've got all this lovely bit of thread that sits out on the back. And all we've got to do is with one finger, just wiggle it in, and my fingers are not the smallest. I can probably do with a uh, Riley boy down here. He's still not very well at the moment. But I've not been down here for three weeks, so I thought I've got to get down here and get, get some bits done. So this is the first on the list. Nice little Alco wheel job. Bloke's been messaging me like crazy. Is it done? No. Is it done? No. But the hardest part on this is actually just literally trying to get that, that nut to go on. Once it starts to spin out uh, your way. That's the hardest bit. Oh, my head's in the way, guys. Working blind, see? Oh, there you go, that's gone on, I think. Yeah, it's on. So let's work that on. That's gone on there. And then with a 13 mil, just gonna nick that up. Now the play in the wheel is, is substantial. Now there will be a lot of play coming up through the bracket as well, but the back wheels were really sloppy and one of the bolts was, was nearly falling out again, so it wouldn't be would have been long before it was a double failure. So the only other way of fixing this properly is to actually buy the height adjustment. Um, arms on these new arms but now it's fixed up lovely and we've got a much more sturdier lawnmower now so yeah happy with that so that should now fix that little tiny um failure 
a little shoulder bolt that goes through the height, through the height control, and then uh, just put a little tiny um, nut on the back of that uh, to secure it. It's got Loctite on it already anyway, this one of the older ones. We've got, we've got Loctite on there, that ain't going nowhere. That's fixed. Right, so there you go, quick little fix on uh, this, this Alco, and this works for any of the machines that have, have this shoulder bolt, shoulder bolt sort of setup, okay? It goes through, and what happens is this, this metal is so tough compared to the bolt, it just takes the threads off. See that? It just takes the threads all off. No good for nothing. So uh, you can even drill and tap them. That's okay, but it's just not a lot of support. That little bit of thread there, that's all that actually supports that on. You've got this massive collar here which holds the wheel, but there's not, there's not a lot this end holding it. So by putting a little tiny M8 or whatever size you've got nut on the end of that, that will then secure that. It won't go nowhere. So hope you found this little video helpful. It's just a quick little video just to get, get some content out for you and uh, just so you can see my ugly mug. Riley Boy is doing much better. Um, we just got to wait for a couple of days off of the medication to see how his infection markers are doing. Do a blood test probably Wednesday. Today is Tuesday, so maybe a blood test tomorrow. See how he's getting on. Pop's doing okay. He's uh, he's at home annoying mum and what have you, but he's, he seems to be um, settling down and doing what he's doing. And uh, yeah, the, the fam is rocking and rolling now. So hopefully I can get my ass down here and get a few more videos for you girls and guys. So I know you've been very patient with me uh, and I do appreciate that. But uh, as we always know, family will always come first. So. Quick little mower fix for you there. If you've got a wobbly wheel, that is one way of how you can fix it. So I hope that helps. If you've got a bit of mixed mows and mower man, hit your subscribe button, whack the old bell, set notifications to all. That way you'll tell me some other video. And I look forward to you guys next time. Mixed mows very, very soon. But don't forget, much more importantly, take it easy.